This was the message shared on Tuesday with Atherton students, staff, and faculty on Facebook by John Plouffe, Atherton Community School Superintendent, saying school will be canceled starting October 26th through October 28th because of airdrop messages threatening school violence. Carly Saylor, a parent who has three kids in Atherton Community Schools, says this was not the first time a threat has been made to the school and that she is very upset with how the school is handling both the airdrop threats and the first degree sex crime charges against 54-year-old Jerry Cutting, who allegedly had a relationship with a 14-year-old girl who is a ninth grade student. To kind of keep it secret, I think that speaks volumes that we're, we're letting this slide. We're saying, don't speak up. This isn't the first threat that they've gotten at that school. And that people are playing it off as that they're jokes and it's, they're airdropped. They were airdropped. So I think this is like the third or the fourth one this year that's been airdropped. Another parent, Patrick Rice, is a volunteer football and basketball coach at Atherton Community Schools. Rice has two children attending Atherton and says he feels as though his kids are not being protected by administration. I feel like they failed for many years to protect our children from, from this man and they swept all of the reports up under the rug. It's not being handled well by the administration. Because again, this this is the trickle down domino effect from, from their from their negligence. I spoke with Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton, who has a message to students regarding school threats. Layton says if found guilty, it's punishable by up to twenty years in prison. Communicating any threat to hurt someone or shoot up a school or plant a bomb in a school could have very serious consequences. And my message to kids is don't do it. According to Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton, a band teacher at Atherton High School is now being charged with six counts of first degree murder. I'm sorry, six degree, six counts of degree with criminal sexual conduct. And it's punishable by uh, up to life in prison, mandatory lifetime electronic monitoring, and uh, the court may impose a consecutive sentence if it wishes under state law. Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton says police learned of the alleged sexual relationship between 54-year-old Jerry Lee Cutting and his 14-year-old student last Thursday. The principal at the high school told Burton Police Department uh, that she was advised by the school's dean of students that three students had information that uh, defendant Cutting was in a sexual relationship with the 14-year-old victim. Cutting has been a choir and band teacher at Atherton High School for 30 years and also teaches at the elementary school. He is also the softball and basketball coach for the district. Investigators say they're not aware of any sex-related crimes in Cutting's past. Prosecutor Layton says they believe the relationship started last school year when the girl was still in eighth grade and continued into this school year. The investigation by Burton Police has found text messages that corroborate the allegations. There are witnesses other than the, than the uh, three students that came forward who confirm that defendant Cutting spent an inordinate amount of time with this 14-year-old student. I love my county. I love it a lot. Been there four generations. And the best thing for the people, that's what I have. If I'm a public servant, then I gotta make a public decision. The best decision I can make is to move on. And that was Genesee County Clerk John Gleason speaking out after pleading guilty in a Genesee County courtroom. He also announced his resignation. Our Mid Michigan Hour reporter Alexis Ware joined us live from the Content Center to break this all down. Alexis, what can you tell us? Well, Dave, like you just mentioned, former Genesee County Clerk John Gleason did appear in court today and pled guilty to a misdemeanor charge that was also accompanied by a resignation and what he is calling a retirement. And knowing what this is, what the kind of 
pressure this puts on the people of Genesee County, he's agreed to retire. A long legal battle for former Genesee County clerk John Gleason. It's been a tough three years. That's how long this has been in the fight. Gleason was facing multiple charges, including a felony charge of witness bribing and interfering, along with a misdemeanor charge of willful neglect of duty. According to his attorney, John Dakmack, Gleason pled guilty to marrying a couple without a marriage license. Not having that marriage license is a violation of the Michigan Marriage Act, and it's a misdemeanor. It's a 30-day misdemeanor, and that after talking with um, and working with the Tuscola County prosecutor for several months, we were able to effectuate the plea to what he did in this case, and that's what he's pled to. Tuscola County prosecutor Mark Reen says he is satisfied with Gleason stepping down, but says there were other factors at play that led to this decision. You had victims in this case that simply wanted to come to work, do their jobs, and, and that's all they asked to do, and what they were subjected to for a lengthy period of time in the aftermath of this conduct, and then as we found out over time, before and after, uh, it just it had tremendous impact on their lives, and they no longer work in the office as a result of what's happened here. Genesee County Board Commissioners assure voters that the upcoming November election is safe and protected. Commissioner Dominique Clemens says that the Secretary of State is still in communication with the county and is ready to help if needed. We know that sometimes justice takes longer than we expect, but today sends a strong message that any unethical behavior will not be accepted in Genesee County and that elected officials in Genesee County will be held to a high standard that the public expects.